Hello friends, today in this video we are going to discuss about the scientist Louis Pasteur and his contribution to microbiology. Okay, so now let's talk about him. So at first Louis Pasteur is known as the father of microbiology and he gave the term microbiology. Okay, and these are all the contributions, area of contributions of Louis Pasteur. So we will discuss each of these topics one by one in the uh, later slide, but at first we will discuss about the we will know the uh, small description about all these topics okay so at first the fermentation so previous in previous days the people use fermentation process to produce wine vinegar beers and different things they use this process fermentation process to produce wines and other things but they don't even know that microorganisms are responsible to cause fermentation so at first the first person who developed who uh, proved that the fermentation is caused by a microorganisms he was louis pasteur so that is his contribution to fermentation towards fermentation and next is this, next is pasteurization so in uh, in uh, fermentation process of wine during fermentation pro during fermentation of wine uh, some contaminated or unnecessary microorganisms are also present which cause spoilage of the wine so this time pasteur raised a heat treatment process he called the pasteurization process a heat treatment process to kill those spoilage cause spoilage causing un, uh, spoilage causing contaminated microorganism to kill those microorganisms he raised a heat treatment process that is called the pasteurization okay and the next thing is spontaneous generation theory so he disproved the spontaneous generation theory that means in spontaneous generation theory uh, the spontaneous generation theory said that uh, from the non living matter from the non living matter the living micro living organisms can grow but that is not true he proved it experimentally and he said that from a uh, living organisms from the pre-existing living organisms only from a pre-existing living organism a new living organism can grow so he disproved the spontaneous generation theory and next is the germ theory of disease the germ theory of disease he gave the he gave the he first time he gave the idea of germ theory of disease during his study with the silkom silkom disease so the this the means of germ theory of disease is the germ the microorganisms or the pathogens that means the germs are responsible to cause a disease so that is the germ theory of disease which is first time give the the louis pasteur give the first idea about the germ theory of disease okay the next thing is the next contribution is vaccine development he produced vaccine against foul cholera that is the chicken cholera and against the anthrax and rabies so these are the all contributions which we will discuss in our letter slide one by one okay so let's discuss about it the first is the fermentation so uh, at first louis pasteur found that fermentation is carried out by a living microorganism and that living microorganism is the yeast so yeast is responsible for causing fermentation that is the forming alcohol from the sugar so from the alcohol from the sugar that is carbohydrate alcohol is produced and that process is called the fermentation and the responsible thing is the responsible thing is the yeast that is a microorganism so this is proved by louis pasteur okay but before his discovery people had a misconception about fermentation that it was generated by a series of chemical reactions in which enzymes are produced so this is the misconception before his discovery and now Pasteur then set out to find some of the specific microorganisms which are responsible for normal and abnormal fermentation in such things as wine beer and vinegar that means the normal uh, fermentation in normal fermentation microorganisms help to produce wine beer and vinegar but in abnormal fermentation microorganisms cause spoilage okay so now so he uh, discovered so he researched on the microorganism responsible for the normal process and the abnormal process of fermentation okay so he used his research in fermentation to fight against the disease of wine in 1865 so these are the contributions of louis pasteur to fermentation 
and the next is the pasteurization process so during uh, during production of wine some contaminated microorganisms are also present which cause spoilage like lactic acid they produce lactic acid and that make the wine shower so ultimately they cause a spoilage so to remove those microorganisms Pasteur developed a heat treatment process that is a moderate high temperature to kill the living organisms that is the microorganisms thereby sterilize the substance and prevent the spoilage spoiling so this method is called the pasteurization process okay and the next thing is this spontaneous generation theory so so people uh, in previous days ancient time people believed that the no, from the non living matter the living matter can grow but he uh, experimentally proved that all living organisms could develop only from a pre existing living thing so they, he disproved the spontaneous generation theory next thing is the germ theory of disease so uh, so the the germ theory of disease means disease arose from the activity of microorganism that means uh, a, a microorganism is responsible to cause a disease that is called the germ theory of disease <clears throat> and this time opponent believed that disease particularly major killer disease are uh, arose in first allows uh, from the weakness or imbalance in the internal body so if there if there are any weakness or imbalance in the inter internal body is present then only the major kill killer disease will arise so the opponent first time they believed it but next time pastor proved uh, pastor gave the idea give the idea of germ theory of disease when he is working with the silkom disease and pastor proved that microbes were attacking healthy silkom eggs causing an unknown disease and that disease would be eliminated if the microbes were eliminated if the uh, and he proved that if the microorganisms causing the disease if the if those micro if we uh, able to remove those microorganisms then we can see that the disease also will be eliminated okay so this is the he gave the idea of germ theory of disease which is later uh, experimentally proved by the robert koch okay so the next is the vaccine development so the first vaccine he developed is the chicken cholera vaccine so that is the attenuated vaccine attenuated vaccine means harmless or the the virulence part is removed from this microorganisms that is the attenuated vaccines means harmless weakened vaccine weakened microorganisms which are used as a vaccine so how he developed this vaccine so the what is the history behind this development of this vaccine so at first uh, he isolated the bacterium causing chicken cholera so from from a, a diseased chicken he isolated the bacterium causing chicken cholera and inoculate a healthy chicken with this inoculate uh, with this isolated bacterium and uh, he's uh, he saw that the chicken survived but uh, but he found that the culture he used was a several weeks old so that is the reason that means the uh, the culture of this isolated bacterium is attenuated or uh, they lose their lose their pathogenicity to cause disease so that's why the these chickens survived okay so next he uh, cause he uh, produce a repeat this experiment with two groups of chickens okay the first group is the first groups are the previously inoculated first groups are previously inoculated with old cultures and survived that means that this group which are previously inoculated with the weaker version of the bacterium and they survived and the second group which were not previously inoculated that means they are not introduced earlier they are not introduced with the weakened version of the bacteria okay so now in both this group he added he add or inoculate the fresh culture that means now he add the microorganisms the pathogens to them which are which have the uh, which have the ability to cause disease so he inoculate those fresh cultures to both the groups 
and the chickens in second group got sick and died that means which are not previously inoculated with the weaker version of the uh, bacterium they will die and the first group that means this group which are previously inoculated with the weaker version or milder version of the bacterium they remain healthy that means so what is the reason behind he it so he found that the bacterium could lose their ability to produce disease that is vi virulence but this attenuated bacteria still retained their capacity for stimulating the host animal to produce substances like antibodies so the anti so the milder version of the bacterium when they are inoculated into the chickens they raise uh, antibodies against those bacterium so they survive but when the latter when those when the healthy when the pathogenicity causing microorganisms same microorganisms will enter they they protect against this exposure of virulence organisms by their antibodies okay so this is the first development of vaccine against cholera so the next vaccine is the anthrax vaccine vaccine for anthrax so anthrax is an infectious disease that affect cattle sheep and other animals that can be transmitted to also to men so during this time anthrax was responsible for killing large population of sheep in france and this was detrimental to the economy okay but pasteur supposed that if there if it po were possible to give an animal a mild attack that is live but attenuated microorganisms is given to them this might be sufficient to prevent the animal from getting the disease later on by because they raise their immunity they raise their antibodies against those microorganisms or pathogens okay so pasteur hypothesis was correct he eventually succeed in producing a mild weakened harmless culture of anthrax bacteria he then took this culture and vaccinated hundreds of animals and they were then immune to the disease okay so this is the history of vaccine for anthrax and the last one is the rabies vaccine vaccine for rabies so rabies is a hydrophobia that means the phobia for water and rabies is highly contagious infectious disease that attack the central nervous system so many people this time have a misconception that who have rabies they act like a wild dog barking like a wild dog and howling like a wild dog but that is not true and rabies enters the body through the bite of an infected animal and infected saliva so the first person to whom pasteur used his or um, introduced his uh, vaccine rabies vaccine he is he was joseph meister he was a young man who had a who had bitten who had been bitten by a rabid dog and pasteur gave meister the meister the rabies vaccine and survived his life and this is the last achievement this is the last achieve, achievement of louis pasteur in his whole life so these are all the contributions of louis pasteur to microbiology okay thank you for watching this video